this video we just uh, replaced this chimney flue the owner took it out the reason he replaced it he had a stone cap on it was he's going to put an insert down there it's going to be a gas fireplace instead of a wood burning fireplace but he had it burning for 40 years the only thing was the flue was a little broke at the end so I'm just going to show you how we just put a different flue in and the next video will be just how I patched up a, a chimney today we're going to put a flue in a chimney and the owner already got the flue out. You can see the brick around the side. Here's your flue. We're going to cut a new flue. And this is the fill that's along the flue. So here's what I want to talk about. A lot of people say this has been here for like 40 some years. It's clean as a whistle. There's always like hair cracks you're going to see. That's normal. A lot of people say you're not supposed to fill along the flue. But in my experience, what I found out is if you don't fill around the flue, you get a chimney fire, it's going to shatter and fall down inside the chimney. I've seen that before. A lot of people, so what I do is I always put the flue on top and I just fill around the flue solid. The whole the deal is though, you got to keep your chimney very, very clean. So we already measured the flue, 13 and a half inches, we're going to go down and cut it now. 13 and a half inches, that's all, because he wants it a certain way for the furnace. Get the water to run off there. Yeah. Okay, right there. This is the one we need. Okay. So in the old days, uh, I'm going to show you a little film of how we used to cut a flue before we got diamond saws. When I first started working, there was no such thing as saws. This is the way you would you would cut a flue down. You get a, a monkey wrench, and break it off like that. That's how you would cut your flue. If you wanted to cut a thimble, you'd fill a thimble with sand, and then you just keep going around the sides like that that's how you would cut a thimble now when you go with a, a thimble into your flue you would cement it you'd cement the whole thing without cutting anything because there was no such thing as saws and once that was all done that cement would dry the next day or the day after you get a broom and you poke it and that would break the hole in here without smashing the thimble. And uh, so here we go. And then we just take it and we fit it in there and dry. This mix is, is uh, two sand to one Portland. That's it, that's our cement. Now we put our flue in, it's laying right on top of the other flue. It's just the way I want it. And then we're just gonna wet it first. Get my sprayer. If you want cement to get around where you want it to get around, you gotta wet everything first. That way it sticks. So I'm just filling in along the along the flue. I got the top level. And I'm putting my a little bit of wash on it. Like that, like every other chimney. And then let it dry up for a while and come up and check it. And get all the check marks off it. And then we just get a little sponge and water around the top. That's all. Because they're going to put that uh, gas furnace in there and they're going to put an insert inside this chimney. So that's it. I'm going to just show you this. We come back here and you get little cracks. That's shrinkage cracks. That's all that is. We let it dry for a while. So just like everything else, we're just getting mixed up some rich Portland, it's still wet. We're gonna go around the whole thing again. Just like that. That's gonna be our final coat. So 
So we just get a little water and sponge and we go over it again, maybe check it in an hour. And then they're gonna come, he's getting a gas furnace. He's gonna gas put the insert, in. yeah. The insert down inside. And that's it. Next video is gonna be about just patching the outside of a block chimney. Here's a chimney, I just patched it up. It's still drying a little bit. A little job, but I'll show you how I did it. Now we got a little chimney here. See how it goes up there and over here. I'm gonna climb up on the roof. So you got little holes. What's going on right there? I know already. Is the rain gutter is leaking and it's leaking down along here. So we're just gonna pass it up. I'm gonna show you how I did it. All I'm gonna do is get the wire brush, go through that first, get all that junk out there. See what's loose. That's loose. Anything that's loose. That's it. See if that's so I love using this rapid set mortar mix because it uh, sets so fast that. It's terrific. I'm going to be playing around to make enough that I think I need. I think I need that much. And a little water. already wet it but just to show you I always wet it really good before I do anything and I get my rapid set I throw it right in there like that boom bang boom then you wanna get something to go in there that and just plaster around it. Just like that. Now it's four minutes later. Basically just fixing up the patch. The greatest thing about cement though is it's almost instant. And you can keep working it until you get it exactly where you want it. That's basically it. Everything else is superficial. Yeah, I'm just going to wait a little while yet. Now I just get myself a sponge with a bucket of water and just kind of sponge it around there for the final job. And that's it. basically it. Now if you want to, you want to get some more in there, just sponge it in like that and fill them holes in so when they paint it, all those holes will be filled in. Like that.
That's the finished product. Real simple job. I'm out of here in 25 minutes.